Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you about something that troubles many people, and that is, why, if God loves us, does He allow suffering? Or, why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? The truth is, I don't think we'll ever totally have a complete answer to that question. But I can tell you this, God does love you, but He also has this great desire to see that every one of us comes to faith in His Son, Jesus Christ, and is saved from our sin. Now, what that means when the Bible says that God is not willing that any perish, but that all might come to repentance, what that means is He leaves us here while we're yet sinners, and He does many things and allows things that bring us to a point to realize it's not all about me. It's not all about us. It's not about what I want to do with my own life. There is a God, a God, our God, who is our Creator and Savior, and He loves us so much that in spite of our sin, He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sin. Why did Jesus do that? Oh, by the way, Jesus suffered for you and for me. Jesus never did any sin. He never deserved ever to have anything harmful come to him. He certainly didn't deserve to suffer for us, but he did. Why in the world would Jesus Christ leave heaven and come here and allow himself to be falsely accused, slapped in the face, spit upon, crowned with thorns, whipped with a Roman cat of nine tails, and nailed to an old rugged cross? Why in the world would God the Father allow even his own son to suffer? I'm going to tell you why. It's the ultimate and the most important purpose God has for sending his son to save you and to save me from our sin so that when we were once separated from God by sin, we could be reconciled to God by faith. When you and I come to a place in our life, we say, I'm really tired of living with this emptiness inside my heart. The emptiness that's in your heart and what used to be in mine is the place where Jesus Christ is supposed to reside in our life. So, why does he allow suffering? It's not because he enjoys it. It's because God allows all these things to happen in our world to realize, cause us to realize we need God in our life and to cause us to say, I need to go to him. And if the result of this, you're watching it today. My question to you is, why are you watching? Are you watching because you're curious? Are you watching because you're against what I have to say? Or do you want to know the truth? If you want to know the truth, the truth has a name. His name is Jesus Christ. I want to uh, read a passage of scripture that talks about suffering and then just a brief quote and we'll end today. I consider this. The sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. That is a mouthful, but it's a powerful, powerful truth that the entire world is subject to groaning under the curse of sin. He says, we know the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but also who have the, we who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. I don't know about you, but I have to tell you, the older I get, the more I groan. Every time I get up, you might hear some kind of a groan or <laughs> coming out of me. And... Uh, that's the way the whole creation is, because I, we're all under a curse in this life. But I have somebody who has saved me. His name is Jesus, from my sin, by faith in him. And he has given to me new life. And I know 
no matter how bad it gets in this world, he holds me in his hand. He's never going to let me go. And he's prepared a place for me. Someday I'm going to be with him. Will you join me? I hope you come and visit us soon. God bless you.